In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at plenty of severe weather, overall storms, uh, some interesting potential tropical activity as well that really needs to be watched. Uh, I think that that is definitely worth mentioning, and obviously I've talked about it a lot over the past few days, but the tropics are on the rise here months ahead of schedule. We have uh, a few opportunities at tropical uh, invests, I would say, things to watch, and Who's to know, who's to say that it's really not going to continue on through uh, other portions of June and even into July? Uh, you know, we do see these systems from time to time in either June or July, but it's really rare to see consistent invests in more and more and more of them through these months. So we'll have to see what this activity does as we have unprecedented ingredients available to us in the Gulf and the Atlantic, just the warmest ever uh, in many different spots, and that combined with a lot, a lot of Nina has many people thinking this is going to be a historic season, including myself. So definitely a whole lot to discuss there. Uh, before we really, really dive into things, be sure to check out my second vlog. We went jet ski riding. Uh, my girlfriend, a few of the other girls over there, got um, splashed multiple times by jet skis. Uh, nearly a jet ski crash, I would say. Looking back at that footage. If you were to pause the video when that jet ski is coming in behind them, uh, you could literally see the people on the other one. It's, it's literally within five feet. I don't even know if that's legal or not. I, I don't know. But uh, what, whatever happened, it was absolutely crazy. And uh, we got some awesome slow-mo footage of it. Uh, and a few thunderstorms in there as well. So if you're interested in that, it would mean a whole lot for you guys to check it out in the top right corner of your screen, the description and pinned comment down below. All right, now let's move towards tomorrow uh, here on Sunday, June 9th. And what we see is plenty of thunderstorm activity happening across some of the Northwest, the Rockies, the Plains, the Midwest and Ohio Valley into the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Kind of a trailing line here across the United States from coast to coast here. Uh, kind of an unusual look if you ask me. Uh, we do have some Gulf energy present. Uh, here so there is just areas to work with here with lots and lots of energy so keep that in mind as we move towards monday on june 10th we do see that there is thunderstorms on the rise throughout the rockies and for some of the uh, plains areas to the east of them uh, this seems to be a more stormy day in general than what we've seen previously uh, also the mid-atlantic up through the northeast we're seeing some showers and thunderstorms really really ongoing here and then throughout the Gulf states, uh, overall, we are seeing plenty of isolated and scattered about thunderstorms as they tend to see uh, this time of year and through into even uh, July, August, September, even October into November sometimes as I was in Florida and saw a lot of thunderstorms down there in November, last November. So these things definitely, definitely do happen and carry into those fall time months. Uh, we do just have a ton of tropical moisture to work with here, both to the west and east of Florida, even in the southern Caribbean, even areas offshore in the middle of the Atlantic. There is a lot of tropical moisture on the rise uh, that is definitely concerning here. Uh, for Tuesday on June 11th, we see it both still for the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico here, and now for a lot of the southeast up to the mid-Atlantic, we're also seeing some areas in here that are seeing uh, this tropical moisture and potential for development. So you can tell that the potential is very, very high for this time of year. And there's many different areas of disturbances within there. Uh, so definitely a concerning look, especially when considering how early in the season we are. The Pacific Northwest up through uh, kind of British Columbia, we are seeing a lot of rainfall, some snowfall there for the Cascades up in Canada. The central states are still seeing some pockets of thunderstorms. And then for kind of the Gulf Coast, Florida, and up the East Coast, we are seeing some thunderstorms and showers associated mostly with that tropical moisture. So definitely interesting to watch. Uh, by Wednesday the 12th here, it's a lot of the same. We're seeing these thunderstorms and showers around for Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, back through Florida and Georgia. Just a whole lot to work with. And then near the Canadian-U.S. border, we are seeing a lot of thunderstorms as well in these areas. So just a lot of activity happening here around the nation. For Thursday on June 13th, again, we continue to see this potential tropical activity with some lower pressure trying to form there to the west of Florida especially. We do have some thunderstorms up there for the upper Midwest into the Great Lakes. And then down here for the south central states, we are seeing plenty of thunderstorms as well. For Friday here on the 14th, we finally see a lot of this energy being forced inland, and this is going to be for the Florida Panhandle, Georgia, 
and portions of Alabama as well. Kind of made a face there, I just realized. Uh, but overall, a lot of this tropical moisture is spreading throughout the southeast here. So there is plenty of moisture uh, really to go around with that kind of tropical uh, pocket. Saturday looks very similar for those areas down in the southeast. We do have some activity here for the northwest and the north central states, as you can see. A thousand millibar low pressure center between Wyoming and Nebraska with thunderstorms out to the east of it, to the north of it as well. And then we even have some northwest snowfall ongoing here for areas in the Cascades and for the Rockies, which is certainly very, very interesting. Sunday here on June 16th, what we see is a lot of thunderstorm activity, both for the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and then for the, a lot of the Gulf states and Ohio Valley there, kind of another face, if you will, uh, looking like a, a wobbly one for sure, um, but there is a mouth and eyes, I guess you could say. Uh, and a lot of this tropical moisture has kind of led towards more just overall widespread thunderstorms throughout these deeper southeast areas. Also, the jet stream by this point, it's very worth mentioning that there is a huge surge of warmth here in the east by this point on the 16th Sunday and a lot of cooler air moving into the northwest. So this is the overall temperature pattern by that point, which is a very, very dramatic look. Uh, by Monday here on the 17th, we see that a lot of this overall moisture in the east has just really become widespread throughout the entire eastern half of the nation. We do have 1,004 there over northern Wisconsin, but without that one, there isn't many lows to work with. It's more just summertime moisture, humidity, and warmth leading towards overall widespread areas of isolated thunderstorms throughout the central and the eastern states, which we've mentioned it before, but this is extremely common during this time of year. Um, you do have that kind of tropical component in there that is probably aiding in it a little bit, but still rather typical. And then for Tuesday the 18th, we see the Mid-Atlantic Midwest Ohio Valley, Great Lakes here, all seeing some potential thunderstorms, as well as some of the Gulf Coast again for Texas and Louisiana. As we take a look at the total precipitation, we see that there is a lot expected for the plains into the upper Midwest here, but also this kind of area of tropical concern does bring about heavy, heavy, heavy amounts of precipitation. Uh, firstly, uh, in the reds, we're looking at two to five inches of potential precipitation. The browns will be five to 10, your blue areas there that we see spreading into the Florida Panhandle, Georgia, and Alabama, uh, that is where we're seeing 10 to 15 inches of precipitation. And there's even some magentas in there, which are 15 to 20 inches. We have a maximum of 22.91 inches somewhere in here, indicated at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. We do see that. So very, very interesting to say the least. Uh, high amounts here, definitely take it with a grain of salt, but interesting to see. Now, as far as this European AI model goes, we really get to see that tropical activity flourish here for both west and east of Florida. This is by the kind of 11th through 13th time frame. We see that one kind of move out. We get this second area for the Gulf, but this is by about Thursday the 20th. This model really shows a lot of it near Louisiana, some of uh, eastern Texas and southern Mississippi, that area there. Um, but I really think that it's hard to, to say where it would be. Those tropics do slow down there, uh, but then we get this kind of Southern Caribbean area. We can hardly see it, but it does pick up here and likely more of that activity is on the way to the Gulf of Mexico, which is gonna be very, very interesting as we see back to back to back tropical concerns in June. Highly, highly abnormal uh, to say the least. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe as we do upload every single day. You can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.